Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Lantana by Jim Tress in the color 2610. So let's get started. Once again, this wig is called Lantana and this is by Jim Tress. And like I said, this color is 2610. Now, <laughs> This looks a lot different than what I usually wear. The color is different. The style is different. I am reviewing this for Leanne at The Beauty Nook. When I saw it, I love the style. I thought I could pull off this color. I really just wanted to get it in my hands and get it on my channel because not a lot of people know about this brand. I know I didn't. Not like I know every single wig out there, but you know, you start to see the same ones over and over again. And I had never seen this collection before. I wanted to get my hands on it and she had two colors ready to ship out to me. And so I chose this one. It's a little too ashy and you know, not a hint of red. It's gonna throw me off right away when I put it on my head. The style, well, let me go through all like the business part of the wig and then I'll tell you what I, my overall thoughts of it at the end like I always do. Okay, so the cap on Lantana, it's an average size cap. I don't have a wig grip on. It fits me very comfortably. It's not squeezing my head. It really just doesn't feel like anything. It's light, it's stretchy, it's a comfortable cap. It has a lace front. The lace front's good. It has a full mono top and the mono top goes let me find the edges here. It's like here to here. So you got you have a lot of parting room up here. And then it's open wefted. The other feature that these caps have, or this cap has, is a place in the front right behind the lace and a place in the back where you can adhere tape. So that's really handy if you're somebody that likes to wear tape or needs to wear tape. This cap is set up to slap that tape on there and then easily be able to remove it and not tear your cap up. The measurements for Lantana, there's three measurements listed on all the websites that I checked. It says that the bang is 4.75 inches, the crown is 8.75 inches, and then the nape is 9.5 inches. I mean, it's a cute style. It's got lots of bounce and movement. Let's talk about this hair color. Okay, this is 2610 and it says it's a gold ash blonde. It's also ombre, so it gets darker. not much of an ombre girl. You know, this color, listen, it's great for somebody. It just doesn't do anything for me, don't you think? I mean, any ashy color just doesn't do anything for my coloring or it's gonna be pretty for somebody. I wanna show it. I'm gonna show it outside. You know how I do. I'm gonna show you all the ways. The yes. permatees in hair fibers for Lantana. The hair fibers are very natural looking. They are dry, they're really light. Um, they're not like fuzzy and feathery light, but it is, I mean, it's like natural hair. So it's not shiny, it's kind of a medium density. It's got enough weight to hold these curls and, and hold this style. It also, like on the top, I mean, I should have put a wig grip on. It also is light enough to where you can move it around. And then the permatease, like it has a mono top, so obviously there's none up there, but there's a lot of hair up here. And then the permatease are just kind of like a light coating over the whole cap. And this is one of those styles also because of these kind of light, dry hair fibers. The more you mess with them, the more they separate from each other and the fuller it gets. And the permatease in there helps with that too, but really these hair fibers with these big barrel curls of Lantana, the more I mess with this wig, 
the, the fuller and the bigger it got. Which that can be a real asset to the style if, if you like a big full wig, but you can also just tamp it down and have it be more, um, almost like a fin. I'm gonna do two comparisons at the end of this video too. I'm gonna compare it to Dakota. Because of this kind of straight style and then the curls, it reminds me of Dakota. And then fin, it, the shape of it reminds me of fin. And the way you can get the front looking, you can part this front wherever you want. And fin you can too. Now fin's a basic cap with just the lace front, but that allows you to part it wherever you want also. So I'm gonna compare it to those two, and then I also have a color comparison that I'm gonna show you at the end, and it's on a wig that I have not yet reviewed because it's been discontinued, but we're gonna take a look at it anyway for the color. So my overall thoughts about the hair fibers and the permatease is I think it's well done. I, I think these hair fibers are light and soft, you know, it, they have great movement, great bounce. And then the permatease is just there to help the style. You don't feel it. I mean, even when you go like this, you would, you would say, oh, this doesn't have any permatease at all. But then when you get your hand in there, you can feel that light coating of the, the fuzzy hairs along the cap. I think that's just there to help cover the wefts and then of course help your style and, and kind of allow you to create more volume. Okay, my favorite part. I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and hair fibers and permatees. My overall thoughts about Lantana is I don't think this style is for me. I thought I was going to love it because I like, I like the curl, I like the length, I like the layers. The top is bugging me a little bit. There is a lot of hair up here and it's hard like you can do a lot with it because of that. This is, you know, all I can tell you is my personal opinion. Somebody, some people are gonna love this because it's got that mono top. So you can part it wherever you want. And then because it's got so much hair and because most of this hair is pretty short, it looks very natural. I mean, you could have, you could have a full on bang. And look at those hair fibers. I mean, doesn't that look like real hair? So I've never had thick hair in my life. And you know, almost every wig, especially in the beginning, every wig I put on my head, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much hair. Well, when I put this, it's been a while since I felt that way because I expect it. When I get a wig now, I know I'm gonna think it's too much hair when I first put it on my head. But when I put this one on my head, I was like, this is too much hair for me. I just think there, it, it's just really thick. If you're somebody that had really thick hair and are looking for a wig to replace that, to remind you of what your natural hair looked like, this is gonna be a great wig. And because of these, all these layers and these big barrel curls, it doesn't, it's super light. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of hair, but it looks like a lot of hair. And then you can get, I think what I didn't care for is, I've, I've worn this for a couple days because I wanted to get the feel for it. And I soaked it in cold water and let it hang upside down and kind of combed out these curls so that they would separate from each other and, and give it a little bit fuller look instead of just being individual curls. I think as you wear it, as hours go by, this will continue to flatten because there's just not a lot of permatease. But this curl kind of stays big. I kept ending up with a flat look and then a lot of volume around here. Well, I have a fuller face and so that doesn't do anything for me. For me to wear this wig, I need to really crank up the volume and then I would want this off my face. So I would, if I was gonna wear this on a continuous basis, I would steam this off my face. Now, there, I mean, it kind of goes back without any steam because there's all these little layers in here. None of this is the same length up here. These are all different layers. So what also looks cute is to take a clippy and clip this back because it's got a great lace front. Let me use my mirror over here. So 
So just clip all that back and then just some of this naturally falls down. So if you like big bouncy curls and volume, but a lightweight wig with a mono top and a lace front, I mean, this checks a lot of boxes. It's also one of those situations that if this was in a super pretty strawberry red color that I love, I might feel totally different about it. That's what's so hard about wigs sometimes is that the color can totally throw off your whole look. So, okay, let's do some comparisons. I love it when people do comparisons, so it's fun to do them on my own channel as well. Okay, first up, I'm gonna compare this style to Finn and Dakota. So let me grab Finn. Okay, I'm back with Finn on. Right away, just switching out of Lantana to Finn. The caps are basically the same comfortable. I have a 22 and a half inch head. I didn't feel any difference going from this Gym Tress cap to Aesthetica's cap. So both very comfortable. The reason I wanna compare these two is the shape of the wig. The way it's uh, shorter along the sides and then it gets longer in the back. Where they are different is the curl pattern. These are the big bouncy barrel curls. And then Finn is more of a loose, lazy wave. So it, there's no real like curl on Finn. And then the wave is brought all the way up to the top where on Lantana, it's straighter up here. And then the curl starts, you know, a little bit down. That's the big difference. But as far as the shape and the length, um, they're very similar and then how you can do the front now I I haven't worked with Lantana as much as I would if I were to wear this for two weeks I would work on this top a little bit and probably steam some curl Maybe take my big round brush and steam some curl to give this some lift up here So it didn't continue to lay flat. Okay, let me put Dakota on okay I'm back with Dakota by Envy. This is in the color creamed coffee uh, I don't think I said Finn's color, but it was in my only Aesthetica color, R302826. Okay, so I immediately thought of Dakota. I haven't actually had these uh, side by side until now. Dakota is much straighter on top. Uh, Lantana does have some curl in the front. This is super straight. Dakota has a lot less hair. And then the, the curl pattern's totally different on this. Really the only comparison for Lantana and Dakota is that kind of straight on top and then the curl around the bottom. Dakota's shorter. It, it has a um, more air dried wave pattern, but the hair fibers, Dakota to me is those fluffy, fine hair fibers that become wispy the more you mess with them. Lantana is not quite that dry and that fine. I mean, there's just a lot of hair in this wig but it still feels really light. I think it's because of all these different layers. Okay, now for a color comparison. I have on Monroe by Aesthetica, and whew, it's been a minute since I had this wig on. It's been sitting in a box, so it's probably got some box hair. The color is very similar, but I gotta tell you, this style is kind of similar too. Now, the front is much longer than on Lantana. Lantana has a lot of, of these shorter hairs and, and you know, you, unless you cut them, you're not making bangs out of Monroe. Monroe has a lace front, mono top, and then it has the kind of straight around the top and the bouncy curls. And this is Lantana, and this is Monroe. How crazy is that? I mean, they're very similar in their curl pattern, in the style, in the hair fibers. Monroe is discontinued, Lantana is not. If you have been wanting Monroe, I mean, you might take your chance on Lantana and see what you think about the shorter top. I mean, cause it is obviously a lot shorter on top than Monroe is. The color on Monroe for Aesthetica is R1226H. And you know, actually it kind of has that ombre-ish look where it's lighter and then darker at the bottom. Like I said, I bought Monroe like last fall, 2018, super discount and I love it. I, I don't really know why Aesthetica got rid of this. Anyway, very similar. Lantana 2610, Aesthetica, 
12, 26. I mean, makes sense. The numbers are basically the same. Okay, let's put Lantana back on. <laughs> Isn't it always so fun when you first put a wig on and you flip your hair back like that? I gotta say, I mean, just the more I have Lantana on and the more I play with it and just feel this cap and feel these hair fibers. It's a really great wig. And I actually think if this color wasn't throwing me, I would probably wear this wig. Isn't that funny how your mind can kind of change <laughs> from the beginning of a review to the end? Have you ever watched a review and had that happen? Like, oh no, I don't like that wig. And then by the end you're like, I think I could pull that off. Okay guys, so this has been Lantana by Jim Tress in the color 2610. Thank you Leanne for sending me this wig and giving me the opportunity to review it on my channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I would love to know what you think. And if you have tried this style or this brand or this collection, let us know what you think. There's not a lot of talk about it, so let's talk about it. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.